Hello, this is MicroJ101, and here is the burner that I made that I'm going to use for my boiler. So, this is my boiler here, if you didn't see the last video. Um, so, it's a tomato sauce can. I'm not actually going to use this burner for this boiler because this one I have um, deemed unsafe just because I don't trust it. If it if it has 30 PSI of steam in it and this falls on the desk just from this high, I am pretty sure it would probably explode and it wouldn't explode in the way shrapnel flying everywhere, but probably if one of the ends flew off, just if it dented a little bit, one of the ends would probably fly off. Steam expands like 1,600 times or something like that. Hot steam and water coming out of there, boiling water, it would be a huge mess. I would get a huge steam burn, so I really don't think that's very safe. Um, so this is actually going to be for a new boiler that I'm going to be making. Um, so I still have to get a propane bottle. I'm going to use a propane bottle, um, the 14 ounce size. These are, or I mean, these are 14 ounce size. I want a 16 ounce size, which is um, they're a little bit, they're more, they're fatter and a little bit shorter. But um, because this is just, if I use this one. Um, it just wouldn't be quite big enough, I don't think, and it's too long. I want a shorter one. So that's what I'm going to use for my new boiler. But this is the burner that I made for it. So I have my natural gas coming right here through, the, through this little uh, brass valve. And then I have a little um, piece of uh, copper soldered on the end right there of the valve. My camera won't focus. There, you can see it. And there's a little hole poked in that, so let me turn it off here. You can see there's a little hole poked in it. Wow, it's not focusing at all. Okay, there you go. You can see the little hole there. And that just blows right into the, um, this is actually a, a bell. I, I, I don't think I actually need this on there, but it does seem to help a little bit. It gets a little bit more air in there. So um, this is just a piece of stainless steel tubing I got from somewhere. And um, I cut a bunch of slots in it. And I bent over the end. That took a long time to bend over the end because <laughs> this is really tough tubing. And then the, I wasted, I um, ruined a couple of blades cutting it too because it was so hard, or very hard. Um, and then the screen, I put that on there. That seems to help a little bit. Um, it just, I'm not sure which is better with this screen or without. So let me light it here. All right. So that's what it looks like with this screen. It's got a real nice hot flame. And then you can adjust the airflow, or how much air goes in by moving this in and out. So, right about there looks pretty good. So now let me take the screen off and I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like without the screen. So it's still pretty hot, but I'm not sure if it's really, I'm not sure where, that might be, that might be the best right there. Um, it's just got a nice blue flame. It's not real tall. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet which is best. That's definitely not good there, though. So I need to do some more research on natural gas burners and how much air they should have. But I think that that, the, f the way the flame is right there, I think it's getting too much air. And that's probably about right. This is not enough air. So, right about there is probably best if I want the slits. Um, so I'm not sure, maybe you guys could give me some advice on this if the screen, putting the screen on there makes, makes it more efficient or less efficient or what. It just seems to spread the heat out a little bit more. So whether it's how you want it, I don't know. So, yeah, that, that's my burner. Just thought I'd make a little video on it and show you guys. Um, it's actually leaking out a little bit there. But that's okay. <laughs> so, but that's this is going to be in a firebox underneath of my boiler. The I think the 16 ounce can will be about the size of this, so it's going to be underneath of it. I'll have a nice little um, firebox underneath, and I'm planning on having a copper, a couple of copper tubes going up through the middle of the boiler to uh, make it more efficient. So, yeah, that's going to be my boiler. I need to get a propane bottle though. I do not have that yet, so. That's going to be coming soon, hopefully. Um, so that's the burner. That's about it. Thanks for watching.